Ethan, E3 here, embodied, empowered, and ecstatic. Ethan's my birth name. E3 is the name my shaman gave me when I was in a private plant medicine ceremony. And it's become an affirmation that I'm using in my life, even though I'm dealing with the stage four brain cancer, quite literally pain every day since uh, October 2019, since I had brain surgery. So this video is for the Jocko Willink group, Extreme Ownership, and the David Goggins group. I don't know what he calls it. <laughs> the Stay Hard group. So I'm laying down now because I'm... <laughs> there was coffee in there. There was coffee in there, and now it's in me. Um, so, trying to breathe and relax. Um, so yeah, Jocko went like extreme, ener extreme energy <laughs> and extreme ownership. So yeah, I'm trying to do both things. I co-created the brain tumor along with God. And I am also embodying... The energy of like, how can I create my highest life's purpose from this moment? You know, so it's both energies. It's I created this. If I'm shaking a little bit, it's just because of uh, the pain. Um, so it's like, how do I take extreme ownership without overlaying self-criticism, um, judgments of myself? guilt, fear, you know, those types of energies. And also with the David Goggins energy, how do I stay hard and stay strong and also stay loving and um, compassionate? Whew. This is painful. <laughs> well, let me just show you. If you don't like seeing, well, there's no blood. <laughs> But there's quite literally a hole in my head. It's just my abdomen on my head. So I'm going to show you. That is... <clears throat> my head. Well... <clears throat> well, I guess you can see that. My brain is very close to that skin. Because there's no skull there. All right. So, yeah, this didn't just start today or yesterday. This is not like a burst of enthusiasm and I'm making this video. Sorry for the shaky camera. Well, actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> and I am sorry. Not really. So it's like a balance of taking care of my own needs, but also not being selfish. You know, so there's a lot of... Um, it's definitely like a death rebirth portal that I'm on. And this didn't just start yesterday. Like I said, it's been almost 15 months of constant pain, challenges, near death, um, head infection. That's why I had to cut out part of my skull. Um, I have another head surgery coming up. There's a new tumor that grew, so I'm healing the tumor. And like, there are dreams in my heart that that quite literally have nothing to do with the tumor, you know? So many dreams in my heart. So I'm trying to balance out both, dealing with the karma that I co-created, past fears, past unhealthy foods, past um, stress and worries that manifested in the form of stage four brain cancer. But then also, in a sense, that could be a little bit of ego too, because maybe... This is the best thing that happened in my whole life. I only have a few more minutes at most before I need to stop the video. Um, so it's possible that it's all good, you know? That my highest life purpose, the most health, the most happiness, is actually coming from this brain cancer experience. Um, so I'm saying it again and again. I'm trying to walk in both realms. The extreme ownership but also the extreme love and faith. And it's like walking in the death realm and walking in the rebirth realm. And I feel like a lot of us are going through this 
And that's part of why I'm making these videos and when I can, supporting others quite literally for free or people can donate. I've, I've already done this many times in the past several months, offering my experience and wisdom and coaching and love and presence to people who are worse off than me. Um, so I'm trying to balance out both like my needs for um, to be selfish in a healthy way, but also my need to share love with other people, you know? Um, so yeah, Jocko Welling, extreme ownership. I'm very grateful for his wisdom and um, his um, he's being a great model of that. And I'm also grateful for David Goggins and him being a great model of battling the mind as he shares. I don't know if he said this word for word, but he's not won the battle with the mind. He's in a constant battle. And he has so much love and beauty in his heart. I could see it and feel it. So much happiness that comes from his presence and fighting the good fight. So anyway, just want to share that. Thank you so much for your prayers and your support. I'm grateful to be present with the pain and the challenges. I want to release the pain, you know? I don't want to be in pain my whole life. That's not why I came here. I came here to bring heaven to earth. That's why I came here, to be present with earth, to not bypass the human experience, but also I don't want to bypass who I am, you know? So um, i got to finish the video and um, get ready for more pain <laughs> and more beauty. So uh, Ethan, E3 here, embodied, empowered, and ecstatic, just as I am. And actually, I'm, I'm receiving help just as much as I'm giving help to others. So one of my healers and coaches said, well, why don't you wait till the next head surgery and then add in the ecstatic? But until then, maybe you should focus on receiving love and support, receiving um, prayers, slowing down. <laughs> so just focus on the E2. So that's what I've been doing. The truth is the ecstasy is always there. It's always like I believe the real ecstasy is being who we are, following your life path. That's the real ecstasy. Nothing, not a drug or anything external. So my name is E3, but until the next head surgery, for now, E2. So with that being said, E2 here, embodied and empowered, just as I am. Thank you so much for dealing with this shaky video. <laughs> um, so thanks a lot. Sending you love. Now you can see my wrinkly hand. I think it's wrinkly. <laughs>